In Indiana, students are remembering 18-year-old Bryce Gerlock, who was killed in a triple shooting at the Harvest Homecoming Festival in New Albany Saturday night. Wade News reporter Kirsten Foote spoke with some who knew him best. On Monday, as Corden Central High School students returned to the classroom, this memorial set up outside the football stadium has been a spot for students and friends of 18-year-old Bryce Gerlock to honor and remember him. Long live Bryce Gerlock. Feelings of sadness and confusion filling the air as students grapple with the loss of one of their own, who was an innocent bystander in what police call a senseless act of violence. I, I sat in my bed and I just thought for hours, like, why him? Why, like, it should, shouldn't have been him. He didn't deserve that. Tanner Chumbley was one of Gerlach's closest friends on and off the football field. In his, we'd pull in today, pull in at the school at the same time every day. And it's just, it's so different not seeing him pull in at the same time as me every day now. That parking spot is now one of several memorials put up around the high school honoring the 18-year-old. Trent Clark, who grew up with Gerlach's younger brother and played football with him, says being together is what's helping. We think about, I just feel like we need, we're all in this together. He was the football team, the school, he was, he was our brother. He was like, we're a family, we're just a big family. These students are honoring their friend in several ways, from donating his favorite color blue and also the color of his beloved truck and displaying LLB meaning long live Bryce. He's just genuinely a really humble person a really good guy. Remembering their friend whose students believe died shielding others in his group from a bullet Saturday night. This was very selflessness in what he did and I truly I'm truly I think I'm thankful that he went out in such a heroic way, so that's that's how people remember him because that's that's what he was. He was a hero. On Monday, Corden Central High School had therapy dogs and counselors on site to assist with students and school officials tell me they'll continue with that for the foreseeable future. Reporting in Corden, Indiana, Kirsten Foote, Wave News.